Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about a new language learning website that I've discovered more recently called Lingvist, and I want to compare it to Duolingo. If you've watched my past videos, you'll know that some time back I made two videos talking about Duolingo, and at the time I really liked Duolingo. And since making those videos, a lot has changed. First of all, I've discovered this new site, Lingvist, that I like better. But second of all, Duolingo has changed a lot, and I think it has declined in a lot of ways. And in this video, I want to talk a little bit about both of these things. I want to mention, for starters though, unfortunately, Lingvist only offers four languages for speakers of English, and fewer if you speak another language. The, the ones it offers for English speakers are French, German, Spanish, and Russian. So if you want to learn those, great. If not, this video might not be terribly useful for you. So what do I think is better about Lingvist than Duolingo? First of all, Duolingo has declined precipitously over the past year. And I don't fully understand why. Personally, I think that the whole app is a bit of a train wreck right now. They seem to be trying to do too much. Like, they have smartphone apps and a web app. They don't seem to be fixing bugs. I've submitted dozens of bug reports over the past couple years, never received a personalized response, and the overwhelming majority of reports that I supported didn't get fixed. I also have seen them break, sometimes temporarily, sometimes permanently, break various aspects of the app and the website. And of these, I think the number one thing that got broken was the spaced repetition system. And if you watch my first video about Duolingo, I talk about how awesome it is that Duolingo has this great spaced repetition system, it takes the burden off you for having to decide what to practice next, well, that's gone down the tubes. Hopefully they'll fix it. Frankly, I'm not very hopeful because of the pattern I've seen over the past year. Lingvist, on the other hand, has an awesome spaced repetition system, and it seems to be getting better, which is great. And this highlights something that I think is just better about Lingvist as a whole. The team who runs it seems to know what they're doing more, and it may be that they just have limited the scope of what they're doing. Like, Duolingo is trying to do too much, um, Lingvist has fewer languages, and it has a much simpler app, basically. It doesn't do very much at all. All it does is it has these simple cards that have a sentence, and it has one word that is blanked out, and it asks you to type that word. And you say, like, well, how, how can I get a lot out of it if it's just this really simple thing? But I think that that simple thing offers the most valuable thing that Duolingo had to offer, and that is one of the most important things in language learning, which is learning words in context. So it's a vocabulary system, but it's a vocabulary system that puts every word in context. So you're not just memorizing these words and trying to recall them, you're also getting exposed to all sorts of other aspects of the language. And like, it combines this active recall with kind of passive exposure, so the total experience feels very immersive. There are English translations of the sentences that you can turn on by pushing that up arrow, and then you can turn them off again, and I like to use those only if I don't know what a sentence means. I find, though, that very quickly it pushes me to start thinking in the language, and I think it does it more effectively than Duolingo, in spite of being a lot simpler. There's another thing, though, about Lingvist that I think is just way ahead of Duolingo, which is the order in which it teaches words, and the words it teaches. Duolingo is kind of random with its vocabulary. Like, it teaches you a lot of, like, everyday objects, and, like, types of people, and family members, and things that... They, they seem like they'd be pretty useful, and a lot of them are useful. But it doesn't really follow the distribution of frequency of words in typical use. And Lingvist does. Lingvist teaches you words 
in the order in which they are most frequently used in the language, which has some really compelling benefits. Like, when you're learning a language, there are certain words that you're going to hear over and over and over again. Like, in English, it starts with common words like the, and and, and for, and all those little connecting words. And, and then there are certain nouns that you use a lot, and then there are other more esoteric words. Like, the word esoteric is a good example. You're not going to hear it all the time. But it's also more common than a lot of other words. There are other words that are archaic that you may never hear at all, or you'll only hear really rarely. Um, so Lingvist focuses on the most common words, and it teaches you the most common words first. And I've noticed some really compelling advantages of that. One of them is that if I go out into the real world and expose myself to the language, I am going to hear the words that I've learned, and I'm going to hear them frequently. So I naturally get practice in them. So if I listen to a news broadcast, or I go on YouTube and I look up videos on a topic that I'm interested in, or if I'm just out and about and I overhear people speaking the language, I'm going to hear a ton of the words that I've been learning on Lingvist. Duolingo, on the other hand, First of all, it doesn't cover as many words, which I think is a deficiency. And it, it throws a lot of words in there that might be kind of fun to learn, but that aren't used very frequently. Like it has a section on animals, and so you're going to learn elephant, and tiger, and stuff like that. How often do you say elephant in your daily life? You might, you might, but you might not. And there are a lot of other words that are probably more important for you to learn than elephant, and that will be easier for you to get practice in. And this is one of the things I really love about Lingvist, the fact that it prioritizes the language like that. Another thing that, like, this is where it's really different from traditional classroom learning, and I think far superior, in languages that have different forms of the words, so for example, verb forms in Spanish, or in uh, Russian, there are cases, so the ending of a word changes, it teaches you the forms based on the frequency of occurrence in the language. So, for common words, you're going to learn all the forms very quickly. But for the more rare ones, you'll only learn a few of the forms. But they're going to be the forms that you're more likely to hear in typical use. So again, it's more useful. So it's not like when you take Spanish in school, and they shy away from teaching you subjunctive, and conditional, and all the friggin' weird past tenses that Spanish has. It's like, no, bam, you dive in, and you're going to hear the different forms of the verbs that are used in typical speech. And you're not going to hear the ones that aren't used very often, until you get farther along in the course. And I just love this! It's perfect! It's I think it's the best way to teach a language, because it gives you the skills that you are going to need most, and it allows you to get exposure to them by just exposing yourself to the language. I think that's wonderful. So, um, basically, if you want to learn one of these languages, or you're already learning them, Spanish, French, German, or Russian, I highly recommend checking out Lingvist. It has a free version, I have subscribed to the paid version. I actually was, for a brief while, uh, a paid subscriber at Duolingo, and I cancelled my subscription because I am really, really frustrated with how that site is being run. I kind of hope people who are running Duolingo watch this video and are like, hmm, maybe we could do some things better. Maybe we could address some of the deficiencies in our site. Maybe we could fix the spaced repetition system. Maybe we could teach words in order of frequency of occurrence, or at least get close to that. I think that would hugely improve Duolingo. And I think that, that there would be a gain for society, because Duolingo offers a lot more languages than Lingvist currently. And even if Lingvist expands, it's probably not going to catch up immediately. But still, I'm encouraging you to go and try Lingvist. I've found that it's a much more effective use of my time, I don't need to put in as many hours, and I get a lot more out of it. Yeah, that's what I have to say. I hope you found this useful. Thank you!